All right, guys. So I'm going to start working on this red three and three quarter horse Briggs and Stratton mower. And as you can see here, we have a messed up throttle control right on top. There's supposed to be a little knob here that you're supposed to be able to move this thing with. And the only way to move your throttle now is with a pair of pliers or vice grips. Uh, and you can kind of move it a little bit, but it's not all that, that's not all that easy. Now I'm going to have to kind of redneck this and essentially relocate uh, this cable, which controls your throttle for your carburetor, uh, over to the other side of the other side of the handle, because there's a problem. You need this part here to go through for your engine brake control. So this kind of has to stay here, but I can take out the cable and whatever's inside just to get it out of the way. And the reason why I can redneck this part is because I'm not looking to sell this mower. This is just going to be a beater mower out here at the shop. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is open up this one, measure out the cable, and I might just replace the cable too because I'm sure the old one um, kind of stuck. So let's get to it. Now one thing I would like to point out, didn't include any bolts or associated hardware with it. More than likely because they want you to use your old hardware which in this instance we're not going to because I still need that mount there. So, as you can see here, I've kept an entire bucket over the years of Frankenstein parts, I like to call them. Nuts, bolts, screws, washers, wing nuts, all sorts of different things are in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find something that fits through it. Now for our purposes, I did go ahead and find a bolt that's uh, slightly too long, but it is a Phillips head screw, which is just like the other side. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna go all the way through on this side, it's not gonna get caught on anything. But if you look at your old one over here, you'll see that there's a rabbit and a turtle on it, so point them facing the same way. But before we do all this, what we first have to do is hook up the new cable to your new throttle control. And how you do that, you just split it apart and you'll see a little hole in here camera can, isn't really picking it up, but you'll see a little hole right there on the top. That's where it's going to go through. And it just goes in like so. Not really too hard. There's a, uh, there's a lip here on the cable itself so it can fit in nice and neat. So go ahead and put your top back on and line it up where you want it to go on your, your mower's handle. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and mount it. I'm going to try and figure out the best way to do this. And remember, if it doesn't work one way when you get it all put back together, you might have to move it around a little bit to find the best way to do it. Again, not a big deal. Sometimes you got to change things every now and again. You don't want to tighten this nut down too much either. Um, this is a plastic unit after all. So on to the next step. So the next step is to go ahead and remove and install the part of the cable that hooks up with the throttle for the carburetor. And so now as you can see the new one's installed. Now I just have to zip tie it to the frame of the mower and remove that old cable. So I went ahead and removed that wheel. I removed the old cable from it and uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and slide this part back up in here. Make sure it clicks in place like so. There you have it. Let's go ahead and start zip tying the throttle cable up and then we'll start her up and see how she runs. And then just go ahead and cut your tails off. Pick up your old cable. This actually is salvageable. So another redneck repair down the road. You might pick up a mower that needs a new cable. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. I've got a box set aside for lawnmower parts. That wheel, that thing can go in the garbage for all I care but uh yeah this thing just needs a good lube job what sucks about these though is they're not exactly easy to lube but I'll show you guys how to lube them in another video so let's go ahead and prime it start it up and let it run new throttle works 